Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into one of the most underrated apps on your iPhone, the Reminders app. Whether you need to manage your daily tasks, keep track of your deadlines, or just remember to pick up groceries, this app has got you covered. I will walk you through how to use it, including some advanced features you might not know about. We will also see the new updates in iOS 18 for Reminder app. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. And follow me on my social media handles for some amazing tech information. Let's get started. When you open the Reminders app, you will see different sections like Scheduled and Flagged. This helps you quickly sort your task by due dates or priority. To add a new reminder, simply tap New Reminder. Here, I will set a reminder to submit monthly report. You can add some details for this reminder. Like date, I am selecting tomorrow's date. Time, I am setting time as 11 am. And I want this reminder early before one hour. And I want to repeat this reminder monthly. Tags is easier way to find your reminders. Here I will add a tag of work. So it will be easy for me to find the work related reminders. You can even set a location. When you select when messaging option, this will show the reminder notification when chatting with a person in messages. You can even flag the reminder if you want and you can set its priority also. You can even add an image and you can also add a URL. Tap add to add the reminder. You can see one reminder is scheduled. You can edit the reminder. You can even change the color and set an icon for work. Now you see in the reminders section, the reminder is added. You can even make changes after setting a reminder. You can even attach some notes. Here I am writing attach sales data. You can even flag the reminder and you will find that reminder in the flag section. You can long press the reminder to make changes. When you select list info, you can make changes in the list. Here I am renaming it to inbox. Press done. And now the list is renamed as inbox. You can long press a reminder and even make some changes. And when you have completed the task, you can tap on the reminder to make it as completed. In the schedule section, you will see your scheduled reminders. Here you can even see the completed reminders and even the upcoming reminders. Below, you can see the tags. You can set the same tag for multiple reminders. We will create one more list. Here I'll select the list type option as shopping and name it as groceries. I will change the icon and its color. In the groceries list, I will add some items. These are the items that I want to buy when I go to supermarket. You can add some details to any of the items. Here I will give it a vegetable stack. You can even add notes for any of the item. Like here I am adding some notes for milk. You can even set a date and time when you want to go to supermarket. And a reminder if it's an important item. Here I am giving the tag of dairy. If you're going to a supermarket, you can add the location of supermarket. You can even set the reminder to get in while you're in the car. I'm setting its priority as medium. You can even add a subtask. For example, I will add a subtask to check the expiry date. Press done. You can see the subtask below the main task. I'm adding the vegetable tax for carrots. When you click on the three dots, you can see the list info and even you can sort the items with the options that you want. You can even select any reminders if you want. You can even set a date and time for all the selected items. To add a new column, click on the new column and give it a name. Here I will add all the dairy products that I want to buy from the supermarket. 
It can drag and drop any of the items between the columns. When you click on the three dots, you can save this list as a template also. I am naming this list as person. When you want to add a new list, you can select the templates option. I am adding a new list named workout. Here I will change the color and icon of the workout list. As you can see, it has the elements that we have previously entered in the groceries list. We will be using it as a template. I am renaming the names of the columns and adding some more exercises that I want to do every day. Here I am adding some details for this reminder. I want to go for a run at 7 am in the morning every day. I will even set an early reminder of 15 minutes. I will also add a tag for this reminder. You can long press the reminder and do some changes if you want. You can long press a list and even pin it. You can even change the positions of the list. If you click on particular tag, you will see all the reminders. Now let's see how to add smart list. You can also add a smart list with the option of the filters given to you. I will change the name, color and icon of the list. As you can see, I have added the tags as dairy and vegetables in the smart list. You can share the list with the people you invite, like your family members. Another great feature is using Siri to add reminders hands-free. You can say, hey Siri, to remind me to call mom at 5 p.m. Or even you can set up a reminder of pick up a parcel tomorrow at 3 p.m. It will add the reminder in your default reminders list and even set the day and the time for the reminder. When you go to settings, click on the reminders app. You can set a default list for a reminder. You want to do any changes, you can change the settings accordingly. You can also add reminders widget on your home screen. You can select any style of the widget. With iOS 18, you can change the size of the widget. You can long press the widget to edit and select whichever list you want to see. Here I will select my main inbox list. Now let's talk about the feature that I mentioned earlier. With iOS 18, you can now view and retrieve reminders deleted. It's like having a backup for all your important tasks and retrieving them is super simple. While retrieving, you can select in which list you have to move the reminder. You can select the reminders and delete them together or even you can select them to move in any particular list. You can click on the three dots to edit the list and templates. You can even add the reminder widget on your lock screen. By adding this widget, you can keep a track of the task that you have to do. And when you complete a task, simply tap the reminder. And that's a full look at how to use the Reminders app to stay organized and productive. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials like this.